hello friends welcome to share market friend again today I'm going to talk about some important things about impact cost actually uh, a lot of people know about impact cost it is a simple uh, extrapolated concept of bid and ask uh, spread okay so even if you know it I will try to cover a few important things related to it which you may or may you which you may be knowing or you may not be knowing okay or it will be kind of refresher for who knows it and it will be like educative for who don't know it uh, this is one document I got from NAC BSC jointly issued by them it is on it was available on NAC website it talks about uh, impact cost with a simple example okay so here it says uh, that it first talks about liquidity uh, what is basically liquidity when you want to sh buy a share which is uh, trading at 100 rupees and you want to buy it for thousand quantity but there are very less people who are selling in that much huge quantity and people are selling only 100 quantity 200 suppose 200 or 300 quantity so you will be short of uh, 700 shares so you will uh, try to raise the price or whatever so all this uh, tradability of a stock availability of a stock uh, the difference between the buying and selling price the lower it is that all things come into liquidity so uh, this uh, document talks one more concept about liquidity is that whenever you are executing a transaction uh, there are fixed costs uh, which incur while doing this transaction these are like as it is mentioned here brokerage transaction charges depository charges taxes etc 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 STT etc so apart from this if there is very less liquidity in market uh, you will also incur charges uh, for liquidity and your overall buying price will get impacted or your overall selling price may also can get impacted I will try to explain it with example here uh, one person want to buy 1000 quantity uh, at a price of uh, 350 or below uh, and one person uh, who has those shares he want to sell 2000 quantity at a price of 4 rupees so these uh, two transactions can be executed only when these prices match or they are lower to each other like selling from uh, selling for lower prices and buying for higher prices then only this transaction can get executed so uh, this is there is a difference of 0.5 so if you consider uh, this difference on the range of 3.5 rupees it comes around uh, 15 to 16 percent I hope I hope I'm correct so it comes in the range of 10 to 15 percent so that is a very huge cost or huge difference in percentage terms you are having in the uh, selling price and buying price of a share so this uh, difference is called as bid ask spread this is actually basically a standard term used for indicating this difference and it is mostly calculated on for 100 shares so for 100 shares this term is called as bid ask spread but when you increase this term to more number of shares or at any point of time or for any particular share then it becomes an impact cost so uh, the bet uh, you can see the definition basically for technical definition for this is impact cost represents the cost of executing a transaction in a given stock for a specific predefined order size at any given point of time so why it is important uh, why it is important to study this impact cost because uh, when you are going to uh, when you are going to buy uh, shares in large quantity or you are going to execute transaction in large quantity this uh, 0.5 or 10 percent get automatically reflected into your uh, overall buying cost so here they have explained it that 2000 quantity sold at 4 rupees want to sell at 4 rupees and 1000 quantity at 4.05 and 1000 quantity buyer 3.5 1000 quantity 3.4 3.4 so if you consider this difference on average basis this weighted average price comes out to be 3.43 that was supposed to be 3.75 on seller uh, side if you consider this comes out to be 8.53 percent extra you are paying apart from the cost you are expecting to uh, buy that particular stock so 
uh, for liquid stocks like uh, big stocks like Reliance, uh, HUL, etc., these uh, costs are not that significant impacting because you will be having impact cost of around uh, difference between buying and uh, selling price would be around only 0.5 or 0.5, 0 0.6 0 percentage only, or even uh, lesser than that. The more uh, extremely uh, lesser values can be observed for the most liquid stocks uh, in Nifty 50, uh, Nifty 50, etc. So the more the lesser the difference between uh, these two values buying price and selling price the better it is because then it assures for uh, big sellers like uh, foreign institutional uh, institutions uh, then mutual funds etc whenever they want to do transaction they will be doing in large quantity they will be buying uh, crores of shares in a uh, single window single uh, time or spread across uh, small span of time so for executing those transactions there should be a seller there should be a buyer for such high quantities so whenever you are saying that impact cost is less liquidity is higher you are actually saying that there are more participants in the market you are assuring that uh, this market is healthy for all kind of transaction and at any point of time if you have huge quantity of stock you are in emergency you want to liquidate your assets you can do it uh, you want to buy you have uh, uh, vacant cash you have blank cash in your account which you want to invest immediately you can do it if there is a huge amount of liquidity in the liquidity in the market we can try to explore few other concepts related to options related to impact cost I'm considering this concept of impact cost for options because there uh, there is a big issue of liquidity uh, for options in India even uh, right now so here these are closing prices for nifty uh, if you see weekly options uh, put bid and ask difference you can see it here bid is 26.80 and ask price is 727 rupees there is a difference of point uh, point two if you take it in the percentage terms for 26.80 it comes out to be uh, around one percent or something so uh, though it appears very less but if you extrapolate it to huge quantities you want to execute transaction in many quantities then it comes out directly a one percent loss apart from whatever loss you may incur from the moment of the index or nifty uh, in adverse direction on which you bet so this is how it is so this appears to be very uh, less it is around one percent even for nifty options but if you see for illiquid stocks like those are traded in fno like ajanta pharma etc now uh, if you see the bid and ask price it is I'm giving example it may differ from actual uh, live values so bid price is 18.10 and ask price is 23.90 there is a difference of around uh, 5 to 6 points between these uh, values that that ref that uh, that can incur a loss of around uh, 33 to 35 percent I guess 33 to 35 percent between bid and ask price so just imagine uh, you want to buy a put option for Ajanta Pharma and you have to give extra 33 percent apart from what you expect or what you are betting as an ideal price for that so these cause the more the difference it is the bad it is for the market you can uh, peep it will uh, it will uh, it will reduce the participation in the market it won't help the market f uh, reaching a healthy state where faster execution happens so one question arises in our mind that why this ask price is so higher compared to nifty so there could be uh, simple reasons like people are expecting downward move in this particular ajanta pharma at that moment of time it may have risen uh, so much so considering uh, chance more chances of fall people are uh, discounting that extra premium for that fall so that may be the reason that uh, put as prices are higher uh, apart from the impact cost that there could be a liquidity concern that it will be it would be difficult to liquidate this position so all these reasons come into this but overall this is how it impacts the overall market like uh, for it it dif it becomes difficult for execution of large and faster orders and uh, extra percentage losses will be uh, you'll need to pay for buying any particular stock option or particular 
small cap kind of stock where liquidity is very big concern because large quantities are rarely traded in small cap stocks and you need to wait to reach your uh, you need to wait to execute your order for a particular uh, stock also one thing i like to tell that it is my personal opinion that whenever you are executing uh, trades uh, it is kind of uh, problematic or it would be bad thing in such a liquid market like options or uh, whatever stocks you are trading to put in market orders because if you put market orders the market order gets executed at whatever ask price is there currently in the market so you will be paying extra apart from uh, what you are expecting to uh, pay so always try to pay limit orders and uh, stop loss uh, stop loss mark stop loss orders with trigger price etc so that can save you from impact cost or uh, vestiges or extra charges so please refer the disclaimer before below the video before proceeding for any decision based on this video this was all about my understandings related to impact cost and few important things related to the impact cost and bid ask price i hope you have liked it please uh, like share comment if you, if i'm wrong somewhere if i'm uh, uh, not come uh, not up to correct knowledge please correct me for the correct information thank you very much for listening share market friend